Hello beautiful collective and welcome to your general reading. So today we're going to see what is coming towards you, family, love, a friend or foe. Please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa, okay, so only take what resonates. Feel free to switch the gender, switch the roles, do what you've got to do and leave the rest, okay? If any of you would like to book a personal reading to purchase anything or to make a donation to the channel, all info on how to do so is in the description box below, okay? So this is for my beautiful um, collective. All right, let's see what we have today. Okay, so we have past that wanted to come out today. Okay, so something about the past is very significant. You could be going down memory lane. You could be feeling very nostalgic. There could be people from your past that are resurfacing in your life. You could also be going back to like an old area that you used to live in. Or um, you could be thinking about something that you used to do when you were younger or something that you've done in the past. This could be a recent past. This could be an actual past life. Maybe you're also having dreams about yourself. Okay, like I had a dream last night that I had really, really, really long hair. Like it was down to my bum and it was straight, but I think I had straightened it. And I kept moving it because I didn't want to sit on it because I thought it was icky. And then, and I was like, am I like in a different timeline or something? So yeah, so maybe there's something about your past or you're trying to decode something, but I know that's like a good omen when you dream of like hair. But um, yeah, so something about the past here okay this could be about your childhood okay so you could like i said you could be having dreams of past lives you could be dreaming of people that you don't speak to as well you haven't seen in years or you know it's a very long time okay you also could be watching a lot of things that you used to watch when you was younger like you know like old shows like from the 90s and stuff Okay, maybe you just feel like it was just a better time, okay? I hear you on that one, darling. I hear you on that one, okay? So, my beautiful collective, can we just have another card, please? And thank you. I just saw the word time, but it was like about five cards clumped together. And we we just want one, darling. Oh, we have lottery slash jackpot. This card just keeps coming out, darling, okay? Maybe in the past, you won the lottery, or you had like the winning ticket. Maybe you lost it. Maybe you gave it to somebody or something in your past. It's like some, you have to figure out something or you have to rectify something or you have to go back to doing something that you used to do because you're going to find the answer that is like the key to like some sort of abundance that is coming into your life, okay? This could be like I said, this could be like a dream or something. Like, you may dream of something and then you may, like, write the numbers down and then the numbers is actually the numbers for the lottery ticket and then you win. I don't know what's going on here, but you're going to get the jackpot when it comes to something. Now, if this is somebody from your past, they may, may feel like you were their fortune, they're coming back. Or somebody from your past may have won the lottery or they have won something and they want to share their abundance with you. Okay. This could be you as well. If you've come into some money or something, you could be going back to people from your past that you want to rectify things with or something like that. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, too many cards. We just want one card, you know, when it just, it's all over the place. We're like, what's going on? Please and thank you. Honestly, we just, you know what I mean? Oh, we, oh, okay. We have perfect match that wanted to come out here, darling. So yeah, I'm getting perfect numbers, Okay. So you could be going to bingo. I'm just saying somebody's going to win something here or this could be a love interest. I feel like somebody from your past thinks that you were the perfect match. I also feel like you that somebody here is the key to your success. Now, I'm not saying, you know, you have to start calling up all your past lovers. Like, okay, hey, you know, are you single right now? Because I just heard that if I'm with you, I might win the lottery, you know, like not, <laughs> not like that, darling. But I'm getting like a very fortunate couple here. Okay. Yeah, we have breakup at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you broke up with somebody or maybe you broke up with someone and their fortune has gone down. Because, yeah, I feel like you could have been the key to somebody's success or you were supposed to, um, like, break some type of generational curse with this person or have some type of breakthrough. You were just supposed to be doing something amazing with this person and something, something happened here. I don't know what it is. I don't know what happened, but something happened. Okay, something happened. I'm just like, what card should be used? Because this is kind of looking like a love reading to me. So I'm like, should we use the love cards? Ugh. All right, let's 
Let's just use this duck. So please clarify the past. What is the past about, please, Anton? Yeah, I can hear the siren. I don't know if you can hear that. But somebody is your calling or somebody wants to call you or somebody wants a second chance with you. We have the Martian here. Could be an Aries. Okay, could possibly be a Scorpio as well. So somebody that you was with from the past, they could have been very... Um, this could have been somebody that was in the military or they're just very militant. Not very emotional, not very comforting, but they're about business, they're about structure. This could have been you in your past as well. Okay, yeah, introvert, the introvert, but maybe you drew away from this person. Okay, but I feel like somebody wants to rebuild something or this is you. You want to rebuild something that you, you had in the past that you was working on. Okay. Or maybe you realize that you have a past life connection with someone or, you know. Yeah, we have the um the obsess the possessive and obsessive, okay. Lottery slash jackpot. So somebody's watching you. They're very obsessed over you. Definitely could be a Scorpio here, okay. Somebody feels like you are their prize and they want to conquer you. They want to win. Now, this could be you. You're obsessively, like, gambling or doing something because you really want to win the jackpot. But be careful because breakup is at the bottom of the deck. So don't break the bank because I'm getting bankruptcy or something like that. You know, if you have to keep doing something ex excessively when it comes to, like, money or something like that, then, you know what I mean? It's just not meant to be, okay? But I'm getting somebody that you broke up with is watching you. They're trying to act like they got it all together with the Martian, but really this person is watching your every single move, and they are obsessed, darling. Because I feel like somebody wants to conquer you, okay? We have the superstar that wanted to come up with the perfect match. Yeah, I'm definitely getting something about, like, um... You are just perfect for somebody. Someone's just perfect for you. Somebody really looks up to you. You could be dealing with an Aquarius here, but it's not have to be. I feel like someone feels like you have superstar quality. I'm getting that you and somebody here were supposed to be like a big deal, but there was a breakup here. Now, maybe somebody knew this on the outskirts. I just heard the elite somebody. I'm hearing like an elite couple, but somebody knew this and they tried to break you up with somebody or you're supposed to be with somebody who's very popular, somebody who's famous, Okay. We have the teacher at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so this is with the breakup. So I feel like a breakup has taught you or another person a very valuable lesson. Okay, could be a Sagittarius. Okay. Please clarify the Martian in the past. So maybe this is what this person wants to tell you. They want to speak to you. You know, that they have they've learned a lot. You've taught them a lot or they've taught you a lot. Or you could be dealing with somebody who's a teacher of some kind. Okay. Okay, just. Okay, so we have the high burn, which reads intelligence, achievements, and know-it-all. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I feel like. <sighs> You taught someone a lesson. Like, I feel like somebody wants to, like, say to you, like, I told you so. So you could be dealing with somebody who's got a very big ego. So I feel like in the past, you tried to tell someone something and they wasn't listening to you. This is someone that thinks that they know everything. This could be somebody who's very smart, very intelligent. Also, I'm getting somebody who's definitely studying here. They have graduated something. But I'm getting somebody has graduated you, okay? You were a lesson and a teacher for somebody and a blessing, Because with the achievements here, it's almost like somebody's somebody's going back to the past trying to figure out why they couldn't, why something didn't work out. They're realizing you were the cat, like the key, or someone realizes, realizes that you're the catalyst to them achieving something. This could also be you going back to school, like going back to university. Maybe you want to finish off a course. Maybe you didn't finish your degree. Maybe you dropped out. Okay. But you're realizing how beneficial that was or like how, you know, I feel like you need some type of skill or something or you need some type of experience. So you have to go back and do something in order to get the perfect result or this is somebody that you need to go back to. So please clarify the possessive and obsessive, but you're definitely obsessing over someone or somebody's obsessing over you because we got that in the last collective reading. I don't know who these obsessed motherfuckers are, you know, but they need to get it together honestly okay we have the redhead it says feisty passionate and sexy yeah <laughs> so if someone feels like you're feisty or sexy okay they have a lot of passion for you okay well this is you so someone loves that about you okay also i feel like it's your sexiness is your drive it's your passion that's going to get you this jackpot 
okay whatever this is what these lottery winnings i don't know what's going on here because the lottery doesn't have to be like money like winning the actual lottery you could win in something else okay but somebody's feeling for you we have the pineapple standing out inspiration and individuality yeah somebody here is definitely a star or they're going to be or they're very talented okay and then we have the kinks it says resilience stamina and strength yeah Okay, so I feel like this is why somebody feels like you are their perfect match because they feel like you're strong, you're sexy, you're bold, you're confident. Okay, this could be a position as well for a job. Maybe you're just a very strong candidate, okay? I'm also getting that you're very resilient as well. There could have been a lot of breakups, breakdowns, but you're still going, you're still shining, you're still out here. And then we have the braid out. It says results, freedom, and transformative. Yeah, something is transforming. Somebody also has transformed after a breakup. So they want to let you know this. Okay, somebody has changed or somebody has seen how much you have changed, how much you have grown, how much, how strong you have become. Yeah, wow. Okay, I should really pull the love cards. We have Emperor of Emotions, the King of Cups. So yeah, this is somebody from your past. Like I said, it could be a Scorpio or a, um Aries here. Somebody loves you. I feel like as well, someone feels like you're very smart and you're very intelligent. Maybe they didn't think that in the past or they didn't focus on that. Maybe there's some valuable piece of information that you told somebody a very long time ago and they're remembering that now or they're finally understanding something that you said. Yeah, something that they were in denial about or they just wasn't really realizing or understanding. So there is a lot of love that somebody has for you here that you are not currently with. Yeah, somebody from your past. Wow, okay, so the Six of Cups wanted to come out, so a heavy Scorpio energy, and then we have the Justice card, okay? So yeah, now with the Six of Cups, this could be somebody who you had children with, but like I said, something about your past life here, or a past person, something is going on here, okay? But I just feel like the past has something to do with you winning big in a situation, or somebody realizes that you were their jackpot, you were their lottery, you were somebody's winnings, Someone feels like you're sweet, you're sexy, you're innocent, or this is how you view somebody. And someone feels like you are their perfect match, you are their justice. Someone feels like you are their consequence, you are their karma. Somebody wants to do right by you. Could have been someone who you were married to. The Ace of Cups. There is like so much fucking love here. So you definitely could be dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer. Somebody wants a new start with you. Now you could be breaking up with someone and finding something new to do. Or but I'm getting a heavy. Woo! I'm getting a heavy reconciliation here, darling. And then we got the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody wants to reconcile with you because you are what they want. It's almost like someone has like this newfound love for you. Okay, let's just pull on the love cards real quick because there is so much love. Someone really loves the fuck out of you. I feel like it's more than you know. So this breakup could have been very hard. Or, you know, it's, it's always like it takes somebody, it takes someone to have to break up for, with you. Yeah, the regret for them to like, realize i don't really understand that but it is what it is okay the dating phase i'm um, getting to know each other honeymoon stage and fun and excitement yet yeah, fun and excitement story so yeah this is in the world of the past so somebody's like reminiscing when you first met each other why they fell in love with you when it was exciting when it was on the honeymoon stage before you found out somebody was an evil dickhead <laughs> no, i mean Somebody's reminiscing here. They're just, they're having a lot of thoughts, darling. We have the psychic connection, telepathy, astro travel, and signs and synchronicities. Yeah, so somebody could be trying to astro travel, trying to spy on you, trying to think about you. But I feel like you've got a strong psychic connection with this person or they're obsessing, trying to send you thoughts. You're all up in this person's mind, okay? I feel like somebody wants to conquer you. Okay, that's what I'm kind of seeing here. The waiting game, it says divine time and patience and the unknown. Yeah. So somebody's trying to wait wait for the perfect time to kind of reach out and restore balance in this connection. But they are not sure if you're going to like take them back. And then we have the beauty and the brain. Sapiosexual, learning from each other and clever conversation. So we have getting to know each other and then learning from each other. Like I said, somebody learned a very hard lesson when it came to you. I feel like it's about dealing with beauty and brains. Because we keep getting that. I feel like, you know... Attractive people are so underrated, mate. They they always think that like, attractive people are stupid. And I feel like, no, I feel like you made somebody feel dumb as fuck. And that's why they want to circle back. Okay. 
So how are they feeling? Let's get some additional messages, darling. I feel oh so chatty, oh so vocal. I want to reach out and connect and be more social. Yeah. So this person from the past wants to message you. Or this is you. You want a new start with someone because you just think someone is very clever and very smart and very beautiful. They just have everything. Yeah. Um, that justice energy, like perfect balance, perfect match, best of both worlds. I feel oh so educated, oh so well written. I'm at the top of my class. My teacher is smitten. Yeah. So you're very intelligent. Again, for some of you, you could be studying, you could be in school, like and um or you're going back to school you're doing something you're very intelligent okay maybe somebody didn't believe you or and then we have i feel oh so lost oh so confused which way do i go which path do i choose yeah somebody's not sure on how to approach you or how to make a situation right but they just know that you're perfect and i feel oh so embarrassed oh so ashamed i regret my actions i'm filled with self-blame yeah so somebody regrets treating you like you were a dickhead or like, like you weren't intelligent when you was. Maybe you warned someone about something or you told somebody about something and they didn't listen because they thought 